Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today's restaurant is called Fun Station. It's fairly brand new and it's in the Market City Shopping Center, um, right in the front next to the Donut King, which is also great, and um, Gina's Barbecue, which is an another place that's great. Um, so they specialize in handmade Chinese noodles, noodle soups, look funs, and I'm gonna try two dishes. So we'll just get right into it. This is their beef tendon and brisket look fun noodle. And I like how when you do takeout, it's very neatly packed, service was friendly, and you get um, the cover has stickers on it so you know which one is which. I also like the fact that they separate the soup when you're doing takeout and also all the other sauces. So um, this is the soup for the look fun noodle and I'm gonna pour it in. So as you can see, it is piping hot and clear, clean broth. The smell almost reminds me of like an oxtail soup because there's like peanuts in here and cilantro. So let's dig in and try the noodles. Mm, good texture of the noodle. The soup is kind of um, just like a bone broth, so it's very simple. They do give you a little bit of sauce though so you can put some spicy sauce in there. Let's take a piece of this meat. I'm not sure if that was meat or tendon, but it's very chewy, but good flavor. Has a soy sauce based marinade. This looks more like a brisket, so let's try that. That one's tender and falls apart, but it's got the silver skin still stuck to the brisket which makes it i guess chewy but i guess some people like that texture there's like little peanuts in here that look roasted you've got your cilantro and some greens looks like some lettuce all in all good so far take a taste of all the greens and stuff if you let it soak in the broth it's got good flavor good crunch and texture changes with the beef mm, this is really yummy just different things happening in your mouth with the roasted crunchy peanuts, the cilantro, the lettuce, and the beef. And you definitely have to put things together and eat it together. Uh, that way you get the full experience of the taste. So this is the sauce they give you to eat with your soup. So I'm gonna pour some in and see what the difference is in the taste. It looks pretty much like a chili oil sauce. Wow, that gives it a burst of flavor. If you like spicy, you'll like this. This is definitely spicy. So if you don't like spice, it's gonna burn your mouth, but really good. I like spice. It complements everything. I think this is way better. You gotta put the sauce on here. Cause if you don't put the sauce in, it's not a bad thing or anything. The broth reminds me of the Korean bone broth soup. That's just plain with salt and it's, it's a healthy bone broth, but definitely gotta put the sauce in it gives it a different dimension but if you like that plain healthy bone broth taste then that's cool too all right that was super delicious um, a good start i started with that because it's a soup and i didn't want it to go uh cold that was super delicious i really enjoyed that um, so if you're wondering what the price is it is quite expensive for the beef, beef flank and tendon look fun noodle and soup it is 14 dollars 85 but um i believe it's pretty hefty of a meal and they gave you a lot of beef flank. So tons of beef in there definitely will fill you up and a lot of soup. All right, onto our second and last dish. It is their signature flying noodles. If you do dine in, you'll get the nice presentation of what it's supposed to be. I guess it has chopsticks with something that holds it up and it looks like the noodles are flying in the air. I guess you don't get that with uh, your takeout but it's be beautifully presented with some shredded cucumbers and some delicious meat sauce and the roasted peanuts again. Um, I'm parked next to someone that just parked next to me out of this whole empty lot and they have a barking dog and they're just sitting in their car, so don't mind that. But this is um, what the noodles look like, a little bit different. It's flat and very thin. So I'm gonna mix this together and take a taste. Mmm. Wow, that's delicious. 
it's like I'm going to assume it's ground pork and it's got chilies in it some nice uh, scallions take a bit of cucumber with it as well wow that bite with the cucumber when you mix it it's so good it has that refreshing taste that goes well with that spicy sauce I wouldn't say it's too spicy um, I think the sauce that came with the look fun soup is much more spicy this is a nice uh, just a nice spice to it not too hot or painful it's more of a meaty sauce I think I like the consistency of these noodles they're super thin and they're cooked well al dente not soggy and it has a nice chewy bite to it and it goes really well with this meaty sauce that coats it well it's almost like a pretty ribbon of sorts and again i like the contrast with these crunchy peanuts you've got the crunch of the roasted peanuts and that roasted flavor along with that soft noodle and the chunky meat and the refreshing cucumber you can't go wrong this is a good dish and I can see why they call it their signature flying noodles. For their signature flying noodles, it is $15.95. Again, pricey, but it is a big portion to me. Um, you can also get a second option of uh, the beef scallion flying noodle. So there's two different types. Um, I went with the signature one because it was recommended on their menu. And if you're looking for other things, they've got um, wooden bucket rice, crispy spare ribs, things you can get a la carte such as wings and other things so they don't just sell noodles they sell other things you can eat with your noodles and dumplings and things like that as appetizers hopefully if you're interested and you want some good Chinese food that's authentic and not your typical Cantonese food definitely try out Fun Station at the Market City uh, Marketplace uh, if you go early it's pretty uh, okay for parking. I know it can get hectic sometimes with Foodland, but I found parking during lunch hour and it was fine. Um, I called in my order and it was done within 10 minutes, so they're really quick. The service is super friendly, super clean, and really nice inside. Didn't really have time to film inside because um, my order was already ready and ready to go. And plus, there was other people eating in there and I didn't want to, you know, video them without their permission. So, if you want to eat in, it is definitely nice, clean, and great decor, little tiny, cute place. So check it out. Support your mom and pop shops, local shops, and I'll see you again next time. Peace out. Like and subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you next week.